All right, I'm just going to do uh, VHS this time. Uh, first one, Terran Toy, uh, sorry, Terran Toyland. Um, I really dig the cover. Unfortunately, when I got it home, realized that it was um, Christmas Evil, which I'm not crazy about. I just don't think it's one of the better. Uh, Santa slasher movies. I prefer Silent Night, Deadly Night, or something like that. Uh, just sold this one on eBay, so um, this is in a cut box. Razorback. Um, always like this one. Uh, this one's pretty rare. Uh, I don't know if it's officially on DVD or not, but uh, Australian killer pig movie. Um, nothing great on the back. I don't know if uh, the Metallica song, Damage Incorporated, they mentioned Razorback. I never knew if they were talking about this or not, but it's mentioned. Now this, you know, I still consider this a horror movie with the amount of violence, but this is a perfect uh, uncut clamshell of this. I, I think, like, from part two, like, part two, part three, I mean, they're basically horror movies at that point. He kills so many people. Um, this one's a cut. Uh, Supernaturals. Covers better than the movie. The movie doesn't really pick up till after an hour. Then there's some kind of... But this isn't available on, uh, on DVD. Devil Man. Um, this is um, yeah, not big into anim you know Japanimation and all that stuff, but these are pretty cool, violent, and uh, Glenn Danzig's uh, Verotic uh, comic book label put some of this stuff out. Uh, reviewed this one. Showed again, just great cover, not that great of a movie. Um, Deadly Friend, Christy Swanson, Wes, directed by Wes Craven. Uh, if this is on DVD, I think it's it's not that available. But I always like that movie, especially when she throws the basketball at the head of that lady who was in the Goonies. I uh, got this, Freddy's Nightmares. These weren't that great, obviously. Actually tried to sell this on eBay and no one's been even bidding on it, so. Here's a great one. This one's one that should definitely be on DVD. Crime Wave. Um, an early Sam Raimi movie. Bruce Campbell's in it. Uh, there's Max Jenke. Actually, if you ever saw The Horror Show, also known as House 3. Slumber Party Massacre 2, and this one gets a bit goofy, but that guitar is still cool. Reviewed this one, show it real quick, the Boogans. Um, Dracula vs. Frankenstein. Um, it's corny, but I saw it when it was young, so there's something about it I like if you want to see a good review on it. The Angry Video Game Nerd does a does a really funny review on that. Here's Horror of the Zombies. This is um, in the Tombs of the Blind Dead series. Um, cool cover. I don't know if they use this one for DVD. I don't think they do. But uh, out of the series, I'd say this is the, the weakest entry. It's on a boat, so you don't get to see them riding around on their horses, which is something I always like about these movies. Werewolves on Wheels, awesome title. Um, even a cool idea, but not a good movie. Day of the Triffids. A band called the Monsters from Sweden have a pretty cool song about this. I'd highly recommend checking them out. This one's Monster Mania. It's just clips of old horror movies. It's pretty cool. I don't think they ever put this out on DVD. 
um, but the artwork goes all the, you know, on the sides and everything like that too. Doesn't says the title really small, but then it's just different movie posters all blended together. Um, got this just because I haven't seen this cover of it. Yeah, of course, I have the classic cover and have it on DVD, but I just never saw that before. Um, from what I saw on online, though, the original cover still gets more money. But uh, and weird, I just noticed this, but right here, I think that's Linnea Quigley, and obviously that's not her. What she looked like in the movie at all, but I'm pretty sure that's her. That's weird. I didn't notice that before. Rituals. I didn't watch this yet. It looks like some type of deliverance knockoff. I think this is getting re released on DVD, but this is a great movie. Popcorn, buy a bag, go home in a box. I used to have this movie poster. And you got D. Wallace in it. Um, I don't want to give away who the killer is, but you've seen him in other stuff like uh, One Crazy Summer. Um, Ice Cream Man, Clint Howard, gotta love him from Rock and Roll High School. He's also uh, Ron Howard's brother. Didn't get a chance to watch this one yet, but I've been looking for it. I don't know if this is on DVD or not. And then this one, Killer Nerd. Says this nerd really is out for revenge, kind of like a play on the Revenge of the Nerds. But watch this last night. It was super low budget, little goofy. Um, and then on the back, um, just in a sticker, it says "Watch for Bride of Killer Nerd coming soon." And uh, I guess I, you know, I, I actually thought this was going to be more rare, and then I did find out it was on DVD. I guess both of those are on DVD together, but uh, it's maybe worth a watch. Pretty weird. Here's Nomads. Um, this is supposed to be pretty good. Haven't seen it yet. I just got some of these VHS at a flea market this week, and so didn't get a chance to watch all of these yet. Uh, there's a classic Godzilla one. Um, I always like like that enemy. I don't know if this is available on DVD or not. And uh, grab a couple more since I have a couple minutes left. Um, got a bunch of these scanner movies. Uh, first, I'll show this one. Uh, Gary Busey, gotta love him. Hider in the House, and this isn't on DVD. Um, it kind of reminds you of a, of a TV movie. Uh, I'm trying to think of what, what it was called, where the kid gets, he kills somebody, and then the family dies, and he's still there. Can't remember what it's called, but either way, it's kind of reminds you of that. Still pretty good. Just I met Gary Busey at a convention not too long ago. He's really his, he's not acting. He's he's nuts. Uh, real quick, some scanners. One, some late entries in the scanner series. Here's scanners three to take over. Um, didn't even know this existed. Saw this. Scanners the showdown. And then scanner cop. And apparently there's a scanner cop too. So, um. So I'll wrap it up right, right there. Just keep it all strictly VHS this time. Um, thanks a lot for checking it out.